Hi, I'm Mark Giralo. I'm the UK Channel Lead for Data Center Products at Dell Technologies. It gives me great pleasure to be joined today by Rob Tomlin, VP for Channels UK at Dell. Hi, Rob. Thanks for joining us today. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Trello. I am very good. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to uh, a bit of Q&A with you. Yeah, no problem. Good to have you. So, Rob, we're in the midst of a busy Q2. So how's the financial year been thus far for you and your channel teams in the UK? So I'll probably summarise it, Mark, by saying relentless, right? We, uh, as you know, we um, we closed off last year at the end of January, and it was a record-breaking year for Dell Technologies in pretty much whatever way you measure it. Right? We finished it over, just over $101 billion. First time the company's broken for $100 billion, and of that, over $59 billion of it going through the channel globally. So all record-breaking numbers, and the company was as we always say in Dell, pleased but not satisfied, right? So uh, we go in, We went into this year expecting big things um, and very much the year has kicked off really well, right? We, we continue to see a, a really strong demand in the marketplace for uh, our client-based products. And in the data center, which is obviously what keeps you up at night, Mark, uh, we are seeing a real strong demand in the marketplace for, for, uh, for Dell Technologies products. And above all, our supply chain is doing a great, great job, right? So, uh, so the year to, has kicked off well, um, and we'll, we'll talk a bit about some of the trends we're seeing in a minute, Mark, but, uh, but we're seeing a, a really strong uh, technology start to the year in what is an uncertain economic environment, right, with all the things which are going on in the world right now. But uh, the, the world's need for technology and the, and the UK's need for technology has uh, certainly not waned. OK, brilliant, Rob. So, you know, I've, I've been in Dell for two years, really proud to be, you know, part of that growth. You know, good news stories coming out of Dell. You've touched on the great financial performance. You know, we're, we're number one pretty much for everything. You know, we're number one for clients. We're number one for mainstream server, number one for storage, unstructured data, data protection. So, you know, good news stories, but what are, what trends in the market are really driving that growth for our product set? Yeah, it's a good question, Mark. So I mean, there's a number of key trends uh, that are driving pockets of opportunity for our partners. And at our partner expo, uh, which is coming on the 7th of July, Mark, which uh, I'm sure the partners will, will be watching this and we'll look forward to hosting them there at the Savoy on the 7th of March, uh, 7th of July, sorry. Um, so we'll talk a lot about this and a lot about where the opportunities are. But if I give you the headlines of what we're seeing now and where, where partners are winning in the marketplace with us. So the first big trend that we're seeing um, is, is multi-cloud, right? So we've talked about it for years. Some of our partners and customers questioned what was multi-cloud? Is the world all public cloud? Are they going to get themselves to AWS and Azure or or Google, or even IBM or Oracle clouds and be fully cloud-based. Um, and the reality is we've got so many thousands of customers that have gone on a journey to public cloud and will continue to go to public cloud and, and really enjoy the benefits of that. But the big trend that we're seeing is that as customers go towards public cloud, there is a truckload of, uh, of apps uh, and technology that they can't get into, they can't get to public cloud, which means most mid-sized customers has a, have a residue of infrastructure that they will never probably get to public cloud. And that is creating a massive opportunity for our partners right? in what is very clearly multi-cloud, right? So they, they will go to public cloud for some of their workloads but then there's a large percentage of their workloads that will stay on-prem and probably maybe never will get there, right? So we're seeing a big trend where customers are have now have aging infrastructure, uh, which maybe is three-tier architecture they want to take to HCI or to be refreshed as three-tier three architecture. And across the board in every customer segment, we're seeing an opportunity to modernize that technology and give the customers a off-ramp potentially to public cloud down the road. Um, we call it cloud offloading. Uh, it's a new phrase which we're seeing. But the reality is when you combine that and Apex together, that's creating big partner opportunity. 
The second trend that we're seeing is um, is in cyber. So we're seeing cyber resilience being a hot topic with every CIO right now. Uh, and as you know, Dell has one of the only safe harbor and air gap solutions in the marketplace. And our cyber resilience solutions, our DPS business is on fire right now. The triple digit growth. Um, every time we get in a customer study or we put a proof of concept in, it, they, they don't come out, right? And so that's a big trend for us. And then the other two big trends um, is, is networking, right? Dell is seeing a massive growth in, in networking um, and we think we've got a great opportunity there. And then finally, uh, workspace transformation right? is continuing to drive the marketplace and we're seeing big demand still on the client side of things and I'm conscious of the data center conversation, but all of that creates security and data center opportunity. Uh, and we've we continued to see strong growth and demand for client. And then the big one for us, Mark, of course, is our ability to deliver, right? So in a marketplace where the competition are potentially on six, nine, 12 month lead times, Dell's secure supply chain is, is thriving. And uh, so that's where I think the partners have opportunity. All of those points built up with uh, Dell's ability to supply, it's becoming, it's quite a good sweet spot for us right now. No, brilliant, Rob, really good insights. And, you know, recently at Dell Technologies, we'll be making major announcements, which are really going to accelerate some of the market trends that we see. And so Dell Technologies World, it was our flagship event at the beginning of May out in Las Vegas. So, you know, after two years, Rob, what was it like meeting customers and, and partners again for the first time? I mean, it was, it was amazing, firstly. Uh, firstly, I have to say thank you to the partners. I got to meet nearly everybody. Um, it was really touching that we had such a strong demand for people to want to come to the event. When you put your first live event back on after a number of years, you won't, you worry whether people will want to travel. Um, but we had over 100 partners come from the UK, which was similar pre-pandemic um, kind of enrollment and uh, acceptance. And so we're really pleased with that. Uh, and I think it's a sign of where we are as a, as a Dell business today versus two or three years ago, right? And, and I, I fully predict this time next year, uh, when, we, when we do the event again, it'll be even higher the attendance because people will be back to full travel. But I'd also say it was exhausting, Mark. <laughs> it was absolutely exhausting. I was going to say, Rob, it's a free day event. And I was, I was going to say, you know, how, how did you spend the time? So people who've not had that, that technology's world experience or people were out there, you know, what, what did you do over those three days? I mean, you, you, you think of events in Vegas, you think you're going to be out having big nights out, of course, and all that type of stuff, Mark. But uh, I mean, I was exhausted. I had, I think I had 28 meetings over the three days uh, and you take in the keynote sessions and, and everything that went on, it was, it was just phenomenal. So, so for me, um, yeah, it was a super busy experience. Lots of time. I mean, the, the, the biggest value of the, of the DTW for me, and we'll talk about some of the product pieces in a minute, was the opportunity to spend time one-on-one -on -one with the partners getting mm. uh, their feedback around what we're doing well and what we could do better. The really positive thing for us, there wasn't that much negative feedback about telling us where we need to improve. They were actually thanking us for the good job we'd done uh, of, of navigating the pandemic, navigating their needs and continuing to enhance our partner programme from a profitability perspective and a go-to-market perspective of that period. So, so yeah, lots of meetings, lots of great feedback, took away some gems, Mark, which yeah. the number which you're working on with the team, uh, and it was invaluable. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we get to those announcements, Rob, and you mentioned some of the keynotes, which were on day one and two. So we saw Michael on stage, we saw Chuck on stage, we saw Jeff on stage. I, I wasn't there, but the things I've wrote down as the key takeaway points were, you know, our extended multi-cloud capabilities, the new collaboration with Snowflake. We saw the storage mega launch. We saw Project Alpine get off the ground. So, you know, if you're a partner and, and you weren't at Dell Technologies well, what are the key messages that you take away from those big announcements? Well, what I would do is, I mean, firstly, all the partners are there. We're in the sessions, right? Um, and a lot of partners have also got the ability to watch it all virtually back still. So if you haven't watched some of the announcements, um, 
please do. But more than just watch the announcement, spend some time with your team, Mark, and your partner account management and your and the, and the partner the SEs that are aligned to your partners because they will take you in deep down in deep dive into it. But I suppose if I was to summarise what really the feedback I got at the event from the partners in real time, right? So as you just articulated all the all the launches, Mark. But I mean the the big what I would say firstly, right, is uh, bravo to Chuck Whitten. So Chuck's our new COO. He's a great guy. I've met him personally a couple of times now. And Chuck came on and followed Michael Dell, right? And that's not an easy thing to do uh, in your first DTW. He came on stage. Michael set the scene. What's going on in the world? Uh, thanking our partners for trusting us and engaging with us. Then Chuck came on and knocked all our socks off. I mean, you as a COO. Following Michael, super not easy, but he talked to us. He, he, on day one, he did all, he headlined all the big announcements that were going to come in the days ahead. So the, the Apex enhancements, I mean, and by the way, Apex is, is live now uh, this quarter as a resell for partners, and we are seeing so much opportunity around it. So he teed up Apex globally. The UK is one of our launch countries for resell. Very exciting. Um, he talked about massive collaboration with the public cloud vendors. As I just talked about, we coexist with public cloud. We're, 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 public cloud is our friend. Uh, sometimes we compete with it. Most of the time we're partnering with it. So he talked about what we're doing with Azure, putting our power protect in Azure, putting our all of our storage software into public cloud so customers can have on-prem or public cloud-like experience with all of the Dell, the Dell software. And then the, I think he was, I'll come on to the, 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 the big announcements in a second, but I think he was, the, the impact that was made by the collaboration with Snowflake was really interesting, right? It was, and, and it created a lot of opportunity and questions, some of which will be clarified through the quarters ahead, right? But Snowflake's a hot vendor right now, and obviously giving our customers the ability to leverage the data the data they're storing and managing for their customers in different ways so we had a lot of exciting conversations with partners on snowflake and then you go into the the power announcements right um and we we announced i mean you already articulated perfectly well mark but we're number one in server we're number one in storage we're number one uh in in public cloud in client in in the uk market today right um but um when you're number one it's super important that you then kick on right? and the announcements that we made around our next generation power store next generation power max and then also power flex which we are really excited about uh driving um they, they were really well received by the partners right and i won't spend the time now going into the the all of the key the key enhancements on each of those product lines but suffice to say, they're game changing and it takes what was already the, the market's leader and puts some clear water from a technology perspective uh, between us and the competition. So the feedback from the customers and there was hundreds and thousands of customers there as well was also super positive that they were keen to get back to benchmark, to, uh, to compare the old versus the new and figure out how it, it helps them accelerate their digital transformation journey. Um, so couldn't have asked for any more out of the event, really, from a product perspective, Mark, uh, mm. and from an experience perspective. Yeah, I mean, that, that mega storage launch really excited me. And again, the things I took away from that, Rob, you know, based on hardware and software enhancements, you know, 50% more performance, 60% more capacity, native replication for any workload, which we've been missing before on PowerStore, you know, that deeper cyber security that you already touched on, and, you know, the, the, the larger data production guarantees, and that's just to name a few. So you've already mentioned that, you know, customers are excited, partners are excited. So I suppose, Rob, you know, we, we've got partners out there excited. We've got some who are working with us today. We've got others who want to do more with Dell. So I suppose the question to those partners and, and to you is, you know, how can they better engage with Dell to do more? And, you know, why are we the best vendor in, in the world today to work with? So I think reality is, I, I mean, most of the partners know 
us back to front, right? They know our technology, they know what we stand for, they know our ethics, they know our go-to-market, they know actually in the main our programs, right? Uh, if you stack all those things up, our programs are great. Uh, obviously, our go-to-market is, is best in class, our supply chain is great. For me, in a way, that's our, that's our table stakes, right? And some of our competition can't always come to the table and say they've got all of that um, to go to market with. The big opportunity I continue to discuss with our partners on a daily basis is there is our is in is collaboration with our sales team. Mm -hmm. and that is the job of my very large channel team uh, and all of the specialist teams that support them. Uh, and it's my job, right, is to marry our end user teams and our partner sales teams. And because when they come together in front of the customer, um, we are unstoppable together and our opportunity is unlimited mark so yes. the big thing that we have to do as a channel uh is to get our sales teams working together right so the opportunity is to take the hottest area of our market right now which is multi-cloud which is the whole um sustainability message as well around aging infrastructure that is costing the customer a hell of a lot more than it should do from a, from a cost of energy perspective and is not good for the environment. Take them on that journey of TCO and ROI, what they could do on their move to hybrid multi-cloud. And for partners, it's, it's identify the customer, work with the Dell channel team to, to collaborate with the end user team in Dell and go and win. Just simply go and take that message to the customer because when you wrap it together with Apex and you wrap it together with our world-class supply chain where we can deliver in four to six weeks from a, in a very detailed, um, consolidated manner to the customer uh, versus our competition that are probably on four to six months or even if not longer, it's just compelling. Uh, so I think the opportunity is out there right now um, the only thing that keeps me up at night is the amount of opportunity we have in the marketplace, right? So uh, I'm, I'm, I feel we're, in a, we're on for a great year. Um, I think we potentially um, can help our partners grow double, triple digits in, in, in terms of in circumstances, Mark. So really exciting year ahead. Mm -hmm. Take time understanding the key messaging and come and win with us and, and do make the effort to come to our um event on the 7th of july at the savoy because we're going to have about 24 breakouts there all different topics how to win in mid-market how to win in public how to win in corporate how to sell apex how to sell to service provider i mean all of the above right and uh, and, and we really encourage you to come and spend some time meeting our sales teams meeting our channel teams and figuring out how you win even more of us no, that's good, Rob. Really, really good feedback and great, great insights today. So, so thanks for joining me. Thanks for answering the questions. And no doubt I'll speak to you very shortly. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time, Mark. Have a great day.